it's probably um, it's been around for a while, isn't it? I think it was, you know, since I think five years now they've been had this um, suspicion because they've been checking the bikes now. But it's, uh, I think is it the first one they found. So, uh, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's it's happened in the past, but they haven't found them. So, yeah, I would probably agree with that. But um, you've got to ask questions of the athlete. That it's probably one thing choosing to, to blood dope or whatever. Another thing to sort of put a motor in your bike. You know, it's kind of aside from like ethically, you've got to ask you a lot of questions of the athlete anyway. You know, it's kind of uh, it's especially the girl they found it in because she was the favourite to win the race anyway. So it's kind of. Uh, yeah, I don't, really, I don't know really where they go with the manufacturers have to take some responsibility for that as well. But but then also the UCI, at the end of the day, it's the uh, they govern the sport and they found it, I believe. So it's, in a way, it's good that they found it because they have been checking them for five years now and they did it after the hour record. They took my bike to pieces and um, so I think, you know, it's um, they didn't give up with it, which is a good thing. I can understand why some people would choose to dope with, the you know, what's... What's at st you know in terms of what's what's to be gained from it by you know financially and things, but to stick a motor in your bike, I don't understand really the the logic behind that. You know of, of actually winning a race because you've got an extra 200 odd watts in your bottom bracket. You know, I know it's the same thing as uh, blood doping or whatever doping, but I can't see the logic in it why you would do that. Even time to to really look into it, and I mean, I know there's some a lot of stories going on, but uh, on the end, I mean, I want to wait until the really official statement from all the parts coming because that's how everything normally should be. Because uh, if it's true or not, I have no idea. What the UC is going to do, I don't know. It's just funny that uh, a lot of speculations are on on new things, on these things, and old things. I think, uh, yeah, we will see what this will come. Do you think it's better or worse than than regular doping, than physiological doping? <laughs> I'm sorry, you don't know the issue on that. We have some real questions on the race. Or I give you my answer already. Okay. The same will be like that. So if you want to ask me again, uh, then I can go because that's not what we want to talk about. Okay. So we talk about bike racing and the real ones and the rest I don't care, sorry.